you aren't aware, bro, Hollow Life VTubers have been getting harassed. Why is that? They're receiving harassment by their own people, their fans, simply because the idols decided to do collab with Hollow Stars, the male Hollow Life idols. These people are seething. They're angry. They're mad, bro. They feel some sort of way about it. When will this end? As today, we're going to go ahead and look over at Hollow Life. Ian, there we go. This is it, definitely. 100%. Dead by Daylight 100%. Stars members and Hollow Live Ian members that involved Cali, Crony, Bay, Altair, and Vesper. And we talked about some of the backlash that happened during that collab with people on Twitter saying it really sucks you couldn't keep the stars contained. Hollow Ian is not the same anymore and the change isn't an improvement. People saying that it was a management mandated collab and I am almost 99% certain that it likely was not. And then we had a ton of other people during the collab on YouTube and in the comments of the collab and in the comments of other VTubers post very upset about this collab and hating on the members and harassing them for it. And Can you imagine fucking coming at someone like, listen, these people are new like VTubers, right? Haven't done anything wrong. Haven't done anything to piss anyone off. I don't understand where this hate's coming from. But I do, though. That's the thing. And it's fucking hilarious. And all around just not enjoying the collab. However, that does not speak for everyone since there are plenty of people that did enjoy the collab. And for the most part, the majority of people did enjoy the collab. But we can't ignore the fact that there is a vocal group of people genuinely upset with this collab and harassing the talents for it. We even talked about Crony basically addressing this and shipping inside of a stream yesterday. Saying that shipping makes her and other members uncomfortable and that it's not really okay and is weird. And she pretty much did address the collab by basically saying that people need to stop getting upset over it and that people should know that they're not here to date each other and that not yeah <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me like why the fuck do you care what they're doing first of all right hypothetically speaking let's say they decided to date why the fuck do they care why? It doesn't make sense to me. Like, they're coomers. That's, that's, it has to be them. What else could it possibly be? It doesn't make any sense. This is the equivalent of a male playing with a female on PSN. It's literally what it is. Just playing online, bro. Voice chat. That's pretty much all it is. The avatars are just there to represent them. If we're breaking it down to bare bones, right? If we're, if we're making this bare bones. Bro, these people, like, this is some sort of sick possessiveness. Like, they're possessive of someone they don't own. And to a certain extent, I can't even say it doesn't exist because they, you know, there's, they're actually not like, unlike anime, these are like actual people, you know what I mean? That's a, that, no, that makes it even worse. Like, bro, who the fuck are you to tell them who they can and can't talk to? And it all boils down to this. They're jealous. They're jealous that other men are getting close to the idols that they beat their meat to. That they jerk off to. I don't know what you want me to tell you, bro. This is sad beta behavior that's all i could that's the only way i could describe this as like what the fuck bro <laughs> Not everyone finds crony attractive. The guys and the girls are not trying to date each other because that is unprofessional and they are not trying to lose their careers. We did have people in the comments to the stream oh, of expressing gosh. their concerns with the collabs and saying that they don't. Let's hear their them. arguments. And they were saying these aren't just people on 4chan trying to start drama. And oh my people. God. These are day one subscribers <laughs> genuinely upset about collabs between Holostars and Hololive. And that's not something that should just be ignored. However, in regards to the shipping issue. Alright, this is a uh, hollow. Alright. We did have Crony tweeting out, Oh, right. Shipping in general is okay as long as both parties are comfortable with it. Keep on shipping respectfully. I like me some good fan art. But we did have a lot of people clipping Crony's stream where she addressed the fan worries. And one clipper in particular was Nerev, who actually got a. 
reply from crony that says best clip so far on the matter by including the tweet less oh and in workplaces like whole alive for example being in a relationship reflects badly on the streamer and overall unprofessional there's a difference in comparison to other workplaces uh this is that cringe idol culture bullshit that really affects the en branches too really it's so weird. It's usually a Japan thing with their idols, not just speaking VTubers, like actual idols. It's something that's been happening forever. The idols have to maintain this perfect image of this pure and innocent female that's untouched by any man. These fucking sweaty otaku going to the fucking concert with these pink headbands on their head, screaming and sweating all over the place. Their titties just flopping all over the fucking place. They're screaming. They got the glow sticks. they sweat and it stinks. Oh, God. Oh, God. And then, like, you gotta sign... The, you gotta fucking sign the autograph. You gotta sign the autograph, bro, right? The, the idol, right? Not even. You gotta do the handshaking thing, right? Oh, this is gonna get nasty. So you gotta hang... You know... So there's regular motherfucking fans, right? You shake hands. You shake hands. You shake hands. And then once the fucking otaku comes, right... When she shakes his hand, she can't help but to feel a fucking wet and sticky substance. Dusty ass motherfucker, bro. You already know what it is. These motherfuckers be doing the most for no reason, bro. It's disgusting, bro. Like, come on, bro. You really gonna bust on your hand before the handshake, bro? Like, <laughs> well, like, first of all, first of all, ignoring how disgusting it is, like, what are you gaining from that? <laughs> what are you, what are you gaining from that? There's nothing to be gained but a case. I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> like, what? And then you got the fucking... <laughs> After that, like, listen, he busts on his own hand. And simply because he shakes her hand, he's like, I'm never washing this hand. I'm never washing the can and he just puts it in his mouth and just sucks his own jizz off his own hand. He's sucking the bust off his own hand, sucking her fucking hair her her hand has essence off of his own hand. And it's just oh no, I sucked it off. Her hand is inside of me. And he's just busting and it's creaming inside his disgusting ass coomer pants. Ah oh, Ah, oh, disgusting. Let me let me pull up a picture of one of these motherfuckers that I could think of on the top of my head from like an anime I know of. Look at this shit. Oh, look at this. This dude is chopped with guys. He's not the fat, sweaty one I'm describing. He's one of the more weird, uglier ones. Oh, yeah, he's definitely... Okay, I had enough, but... um, <laughs> If you want to find a fat, sweaty one, just type down ugly bastard, and you'll get what you're looking for. All right? It's always the ugly bastards, you know? You got to get the autographs. You sign with the pen... Oh, God. Oh, God. He's putting the pen up his ass. The pen that she held. Like, <laughs> these dudes do the most, bro. Like, <sighs> they fantasize about fucking a girl that they're never going to fuck. So they do the most. It's pretty much what's happening here. But it's weird because it's virtual. <laughs> so it's even more like... <laughs> Let's keep going. To be more clear, since I tend to talk vaguely and I leave stuff out because of it, just don't shit me with the guys since some people can get weird and serious about it. With the girls, it's fine since we find it fun. Otherwise, I like ships, let's go sail. And then she said, I can't edit my comments, so here's a reply that'll probably get buried. For those saying there's a double standard between same sex and opposite sex shipping, yes, there unfortunately is because idol culture is a thing and some people can get heated about it, take things far, and take it out on the talents directly. I don't want to be harassed, nor do I want involved parties to be be harassed over practically nothing if you actually this is happening outside of japan by the way i never expected to see this type of behavior outside of japan I'm not saying that japan is uh the only country with weirdos but in terms of idol culture i just never expected something like this to like exist outside of japan it's kind of interesting it's sort of like a mixture of cultures but the bad shit is being mixed together too, unfortunately.
actually watched this stream, you would have been able to see this display of aggression happening throughout. There's a reason why I set the boundaries and made such a decision. Please don't be insensitive and be respectful of one's decision. I know I was being vague and should have said guys instead of people, but hey, it's not like I have a script or anything when the issue came up during stream. But it would be really nice to not twist my words like I said on All the stream. Men. You should know the context of it being All said like men. it is shown in the title. If you find something else be contradictory or problematic from what I've said, then that's a problem I can't help you with because I believe I clarified more than enough. Thank you. And after Crony's replies to this clip, we had a lot of people harassing her in the comments oh section my God. and also replying to her and harassing her on Twitter and other sites, saying that she shouldn't have been an idol if she doesn't like idol culture and that she's blaming idol culture when it's actually not idol culture's fault at all. There are yeah, it's their fault. They're fucking weirdos. <laughs> it's their fucking fault. Fucking weird ass motherfuckers. What the fuck? Bacon grease smelling ass. Yo. That fucking stands all over your white tank top ass. Like, get out of here, bro. Your fucking room is probably, you probably live in a one bedroom apartment covered in fucking garbage bags everywhere. Just surrounded in fucking garbage bags. That's, that's it. It's just a small fucking box. God damn it. You probably have fucking body pillows of these fucking characters because it's the closest that you're ever going to get to fucking them all right it's the closest that you're ever going to get to fucking your favorite vtuber a fucking body pillow you better pray that they make a fucking usb fucking own a hole or some shit bro and even then like what's the whole point what the fuck is that shit called not an own a hole what the fuck is it called is it is that is that what it's called What's that thing, the fake vagina, the fake pussy thingy? I forgot. I forgot what it's called, but a fleshlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, like, when you, when you, when you bust inside of a fleshlight, is there a chamber that can, <laughs> is there, is it? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> is there a chamber that is there a chamber that collects the bust? Or is it just in there and you gotta clean that shit out with your hand? <laughs> That's what I wanna know. Cause either way, you think that you're busting inside your anime waifu, but your bust is still there. Oh no. Never that. <laughs> Never that get No. No. Oh, God, no. Please don't. I saw a fucking Gohan one the other day from Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Very disturbing shit. <laughs> oh, my God. For more people throwing more negative comments inside of the comment section and on other sites, as you can see here, the comment section to this clip where Crony replied is currently turned off to stop any more backlash towards Crony. However, the damage has already been done because this is already floating around all over Twitter, Reddit, and other sites like 4chan as well. People harassing Crony and saying that she should not have replied to this at all. And now personally, I understand why Crony would want to address this because it is very hard to ignore all of the hate they are receiving during streams, in comments, all over Twitter, all over Reddit, everywhere you look for whole alive, these VTubers are receiving a ton of hate for simply collabing with the opposite sex. But I do think there was a better way for Crony to Bruh. address this, probably should have actually scripted it before talking about it on stream, or just made a tweet regarding the situation, or hell, whole alive themselves make a tweet regarding this. Facts. Because at this point, as we've already seen, people believe Whole Alive is forcing these collabs to happen, when I don't believe that would be the case at all. If Crony didn't want to collab with the Whole Stars boys, she wouldn't have collabed with the Whole Stars exactly. boys. But the girls are having a ton of fun on these collabs, and that should be all that matters. I do want to... That is all that matters. In fact, that's the problem to these fucking people. <laughs> they want to be the one that makes these girls have fun, bro. They're scared. They're intimidated. Every time a collab happens, they're having a panic attack. They're shaking in their seats. They said, I know the girls told us not to watch the fucking stream if we don't like it, but I have to make sure nothing happens. I have to make sure nothing happens to my Oshi. <laughs>
take a quick look over at this tweet though saying wanting a vtuber to not collab with males doesn't mean you are a bad person or there's something wrong with you Some <coughs> It doesn't mean that you're a bad person, and it doesn't mean there's something wrong with you. It simply means you've never fucked. That's all it means. You haven't experienced a real, actual woman yet. In fact, that even goes as far as to say that you probably don't interact with females at all. The closest thing you get to interacting with a female is typing and sending chats. Uh, chat messages to them and, ha and hearing their voice reply to you without you having to use your voice and actually physically speak to them because you're too afraid to do it. And you're too scared because you know that you're going to get rejected. Why are you going to get rejected? Because you stay home all day, fat, sweaty, doing the same shit each and every day, wearing the same pair of... <laughs> wearing the same pair of underwear for a whole week, turning it inside out, Put it back on. <laughs> I'm trying to do this without laughing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, bro, wearing the same pair of underwear for a whole week, turning it inside out, putting it back on for a whole another week. Like, come on, man. Take a shower, bro. It's like the moment one VTuber's done being live, you go to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. You try to make an excuse to not go to the shower. Bro, like... When you go to eat, you order. Where do you get the money from? Your mother's allowance. Listen. You could be saved. It doesn't have to be this way, bro. Because you're probably not fit. You probably have man titties. An abundant amount of sweat underneath those titties. Navels, your navel filled with all sorts of filth. That I can't even fathom. Listen. Listen, my guy. It doesn't have to be lit this way, alright? All you have to do is get the fuck out of the house. Alright? Take a shower first. Definitely take a shower first, alright? Look at people around you. Look at the freshest motherfucker you can find. And then look at yourself. All right. You're not at your maximum. You're not at your maximum, bro. You got to go to the gym. You got to drop the fucking nacho cheese Doritos. The sour cream and onion. You got to stop ordering the same goddamn burger every night. You can't do it anymore, bro. Stop it. Drop the cinnamon bun. Alright? Put your dick away. Pick up all the jizz rags around your room. Clean clean up your room. Make your room a healthy environment for you. Pick up all that cum and throw that shit in the garbage. <laughs> Alright, bro? Try not to masturbate too often. Please, just stop. If you can, stop altogether. If you can't, just stop, all right? You're going to ruin your penis, all right? You came to the conclusion that this is what you want, that you're happy in life. If this is truly what you want, get rid of your dick. You don't need it anymore. Give it to someone who's going to use it. Take your dick and balls and give it to someone else who's going to use it, all right? What are you going to do for urine? You could get some sort of weird fire hose contraption. Whenever you got to piss, 
You just turn it on and just little, you know? Because why do you have a dick? If you're just going to use it for this. This is all penis energy right here. This is pent up dick energy. Spoiled milk semen. Fucking uncircumcised. All right, I can't even uh, come at people who's uncircumcised. That's just a fucking life choice. But fucking dick cheese ass motherfuckers. All right. Dick cheese. Dick cheese is a choice, actually. I'm, I, I, I think I'm going into territory that I should. No, fuck it. Let, let, no, let's go all in. All right. I don't know. Listen, I'm not going to say if I'm circumcised or not. All right. I'm not going in. This isn't. This isn't about me. All right. This isn't. A, if it's all preference. All right. But if you have dick cheese, you have a fucking problem. Clean it up. Clean your cock. Or give it to someone else who will. That's all I'm saying. Someone else could be using your dick. There's someone out there who doesn't have a dick that could probably use it. I'm just saying, bro. Evolve. All you have to do is evolve, bro. That's it. Start with the gym. Once you get all that weight off, once you can actually run, you're going to be like, yo, I can actually do something cool. And then you're going to realize other unique things about yourself. You're not discovering yourself. You're so invested on other people. You haven't even realized that your asshole is quite literally black. Because you haven't wiped it in years. You just shoot shit out and you leave it in there. Your asshole's rotting. There's a mole in your asshole. If you were invested in yourself, you would have realized that. My guy, listen. Stop worrying about what other people is doing. Who's collabing with who and collab with yourself. Clean up, man. Get some support. All right? You don't have to, it doesn't have to be this way. You don't have to be the you don't have to be the ugly bastard tag. You don't. You don't want to be the ugly bastard tag. Just get your life together, man. That's all it is. But yeah, man. Let's, let's, see, let's see what the fuck else. Some people watch VTubers because they just want to watch a girl being cute and having fun. It's the same as, for example, in some anime, there is an only female cast. And I believe this is very true. If you don't like the VTuber girls collabing with the male VTubers, that is perfectly fine. You don't need to watch those streams. You can just turn them off and just watch them the next day or go watch something else. But, but that's not what they do, though. That is not what they do, though. You know what they do harassing the talent because they are collabing with each other is something else you do not need to harass someone because they're collabing with your oshi and you don't need to think that they're going to date each other simply because they collab as co-workers they had a lot of fun during the collab and as crony stated it is very so that's pretty much it, for them to I try think. and date each other they're co-workers and they are just there to work and have fun shipping slash collab situation it's a very big problem right now i yeah so that's pretty much it I, j I just find it hilarious, you know? It just reeks of virgin energy. And there's nothing wrong with being a virgin. Alright? There's, not, there's nothing wrong with being a virgin. It's doing shit like this. When you let your virginity fester. And, and just... And just... At that point, you have to fuck. But the thing is, like, they're in a position where they can't. Basically, you have to make... I know I know what they're saying, be yourself. But, like... You know how oh, you watch all those kids' cartoons and you're like, be yourself, right? Like, at, a, at some point in time, you have to look in the mirror and you have to ask yourself... Do I really want to be my... Is, is this really what I want to be? Is this myself? Or is this Shrek? This is Shrek. Are you Shrek, bro? Or are you a human being? These people are quite literally evolving into ogres in front of us without even realizing it themselves. But um, that's pretty much it. It's just, uh, I just found it hilarious that this is actually happening. Like, holy shit. Funniest shit I've ever heard. All right.